There is less than 24 hours before the July 1st rally, but it is not <clears throat> excuse me, it is not yet known whether it will go ahead as planned. Organizers say if the storm signal number 8 or the black rainstorm warning is in force as of 12:30 p.m., the rally would be postponed until Sunday, July 7th. The Hong Kong Observatory meanwhile says it would consider issuing the strong wind signal number 3 tomorrow morning. Joanne's Joao da Silva reports. Tropical storm Rumbia has moved across the Philippines and it's heading close to Hong Kong. This afternoon it was centered about 600 kilometers south-southeast of Dongsha. It will move at a speed of 28 kilometers per hour across the South China Sea and towards the coastal areas of western Guangdong. There is a chance that Rumbia may intensify into a severe tropical storm later on Monday. If that is the case, tomorrow's rally and celebrations may have to be postponed. The chairman of the Hong Kong Celebrations Committee, organizers of tomorrow's pro-government rally, said that if the black rainstorm signal is hoisted, their activities will be cancelled. And rally organizers say they may postpone tomorrow's march if the black rainstorm signal or the typhoon signal number 8 are hoisted. Despite the gathering storm, the Occupy Central movement has announced its plans for tomorrow's rally. This year, however, the occupiers have promised to stick to more conventional activities. Those participating in the July 1st rally will surely walk past their stall in Wan Chai, where members of the movement will distribute a wide variety of goodies aimed at raising awareness about their cause. The movement's three leaders will also deliver a speech at the end of the rally. They say they have faith in the people of Hong Kong to be peaceful. Personally, I have um, confidence and trust on Hong Kong people. And I think the majority of the people att uh, participating in tomorrow's rally will be peaceful non-violence and uh, will not cause any social disturbance. Occupy Central organizers deny rumors that they may engage in civil disobedience tomorrow. They admit, however, that other groups may be planning to do so. Juan da Silva, TVB News.